previously. I'm Triff Gaming! Elon Musk, step aside! They think they can only deal the one hand trap. You know, just for the fight of drugs and two hand traps? They think they can only deal the one hand trap. Three hand traps? Nikola Tesla, step aside! Guys, I am 250 subscribers away from 15,000 subscribers. If we hit that number, I'm gonna upload a crazy best of three match of me versus Farfa playing Gadget Pendulums versus Draco Paws. Subscribe right now if you guys want to see it. Subscribe right now if you want to see that match. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Probably gonna be the fastest Yu Gi Tuber to 15k in history. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Love you guys. Enjoy this video. Gadgets? Really, Triff? Have you really broken gadgets? I guess you can say I'm a machine. Dude, it's true. I've broken this deck. It's absolutely insane. I really am a machine. So if you look at our opening hand here, we got two gadgets, a Mythical Beast Cerberus, a Dragon Ravine, and Harmonizing. So you look at this and be like, yo, Triff opened two gadgets. This guy bricked. But did I now? Did I brick? Gadgets are amazing in pendulums, man. They're amazing. They're literally free pluses. Free plus, free plus, free plus, free plus. So you your pen summon. Like, free summons everywhere. Like, are you going to pen summon? One gadget effect. Normal summon, another gadget effect. So you just summon, another gadget effect. That's so many free monsters for nothing. And you're going to see what this ends up on. As I've truly broken this deck. So here, you simply to do this combo, I'm sure you guys have a 4 negate plus 8k, kind of an infinite negate combo. 5 negates, 5 cards that negate, but it's really infinite negates. Uh, 4 monster negates and infinite spell trap negates, if you get what I mean. And if you see where this is going. So, just a typical pen summon at this point. Uh, Gadget would obviously be another pendulum monster of any level 4. Let's say a normal pendulum summon at this point would be 2 level 4, 2 level 7, and a jackal. That's your typical pendulum summon. But nah, we don't do typical here at Troop Gaming. So we're going to show you extraordinary rather than the ordinary. Uh, what we're going to do here is I'll go harmonizing, absolute, and electrum into Saryuja. Yes, that's right. Just for three monsters, we just need it for a special summon effect. That's all. Vortex comes out, giving us a free negate and clearing up lots of needed space. Next, so we pendulum summon the red gadget. Now we're going to use Saryuja's effect to special summon the yellow gadget. Searching the green gadget, now getting all these pluses for completely free. Next, we go into our boy, back to the OG dog right there, Gear Gigan X. Gear Gigan X. I literally thought of this combo while playing Cube. Uh, greatest, greatest pastime ever, honestly. Uh, so, uh, our boy Cyberstein. Everyone forgot about him. Fresh off the ban list. Normal summon him now, so he didn't use our normal summon yet. And Cyberstein, bring out Notoria Exterior. Next, what's this missing? We got infinite spell trap negates. But where's the monster negates at? Well, you already know your boy won't play a deck without Rusty. Boom. Cyber signs of dark. So you just keep getting going to insulate it. Boom. Got yourself a Rusty. Just like that, you got Vortex Jackal, Double Fog Blade, and an Aturia Exterior to stop every single spell and trap in the game. And making sure your opponent isn't playing any monster effects either. So just like that, that's a new little lock I got. It's not difficult to do this combo. In fact, every single turn does this combo. It's either you... You just have to draw a gadget. You draw one of your nine gadgets in your 60 card deck, and you have, sorry, you have, you make some Yuja, you do this whole combo absolutely very easily. If you don't draw a gadget, you typically just, you just play normal pendulum with PKs. If you don't draw a gadget, that means you have five pendulums, you're going to go off and summon it four or five negates anyways. But gadget just ensure you get exterior. So every turn is four or five negates, and it's honestly amazing. Uh, if, you have, if you have to make your normal summon without, uh, if you have to make your electro with the normal summon, so you simply send the Symphonic mics, and you get a free normal summon in then anyway. So it doesn't matter. It, you literally do this combo every single time, regardless of the hand. Uh, except if you don't draw Gadget, Exterior is replaced with a Savage Dragon, and that's it. Deck's amazing. Here's a deck profile. That It's honestly incredible. So I'm going to show you guys a deck profile right now. If you like that combo, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go straight into the deck profile. You see, the game plan of this deck is extremely simple. You got nine gadgets. You draw one, you win. It's that simple. Now, if you look at what gadgets can do in pendulums, you got your normal summon, you got your pendulum summon, you got your Saryuja summon, and you got your Symphonic Warrior extra normal summon. Good, Mike's going to give you an extra normal summon that you send with Electrum. That is four summons in one turn. Gadget, red, summon that gadget. Get re yellow gadget. Summon that yellow gadget. Get green gadget. Summon the green gadget. Get another gadget. 
like Cyberstein, uh, go Gear Geekin, Summon Cyberstein. Like, that's four summons you get in one turn. That's absolutely nuts. Gadgets are uh, so abusable in Pendulum. It's crazy. And honestly, I've always loved gadgets, and I've never yet done a profile on gadget pendulums. And I love gadgets, so I'm like, why not? Let's break the internet with some gadget five negate pendulums. So, like they said, the game plan you get going to Gear Geek with all your free summons of gadgets. And you get Cyberstein, and you summon Cyberstein with the third summon. Utilizing, even if you make Electrum without your normal summon, you send Symphonic Warrior mics, and you still have an F3 summon. So you have four summons in total. If you normal summon with Electrum, you have three left. Or to make Electrum, you have three left. Two of which is a gadget. Go into Gear Geek and get Cyberstein from the last summon. Four summons. And Sayuja gives you one. So you get a free normal summon, Pendulum summon, normal summon, and Sayuja summon. That's four summons. Crazy. Uh, like a deck that utilizes four summons is pretty insane. Uh, next, you got all the turbo cards, the whole the holy trinity, all twenty one, the twenty one commandments. All right, pen god, all twenty one needed in sixty card decks, no matter what. Next, the magician count obviously needed again. These twelve always needed, no matter what. The three pen call, three duels lines, three wisdom, three harmo. You need that count, no matter what. One oaf dragon needed, purple poison dragon pit, janky and black fang. Only two that are debatable, but I just thought you know what, we'll put them in. More magicians the better, M more pendulums the better. To make sure that we could always pendulum summon. And it's also to ensure that we could always absolute. Because you need to Saryuja for this combo. And it just for uh, having absolute on board makes it so much easier because you have a free monster. So the mo the best is when you summon mics and absolute. So you have mics and absolute and Electrum going to our Saryuja. You don't need Saryuja to draw four and put back three. You only need it for a sp extra special summon. And to create zones, which is extremely important. Uh, one gazer, two dark worm because you're only no you're normal summoning the gadgets when you draw them. Or Cyber Sign or whatever. So you don't want to do almost summon the Dark Room. You just want the Dark Room in your deck to send with one of your nine foolishes. So it's literally just... You only play two in case you draw one. Uh, two Jocko, one Gate Zero, one Mikes. Mikes is incredible. I'm going to start abusing this card a lot. Even in Invoke, invoke Pendulums. It's, you literally just got a free normal summon that turn. Uh, and you send it with Electrum. So you send it with Electrum. You Pendulum summon it. You link it away. But it gets a free normal summon that turn. It's a literally Gemini Seraphonite. Night. And what what else is crazy is I might and there's more turbo cards than you guys can imagine. Like this one as well. So find where your guitar. A lot of people know about this card. Uh simply discard one card, special summon a symphonic warrior. So you special summon some symphonic warrior mics, and you get a free normal summon that turn and a free monster on board. But you do have to discard a card. So in an Orcas engine in the future, in my Orcas decks, maybe I'll be toying around with that. Same with Empowerment, just because they're free turbo cards, and you you know how important turbo cards are. So but for now, we don't play. There's no space. And then just through to a mirror, mirror. Have, you got to play it with Dragon Ravine uh, too many times. You guys are going to notice. I'm going to post a duel, uh, me versus Farfa, uh, in a Pendulum Mirror match. I'm going to be posting it soon. Uh, playing this deck, actually. So, too many times in that match, I really wanted Distrudo in the deck. I had Ravine or Shrine, and I just, there was no Distrudo. My only targets were Dark Worm. So, Distrudo is absolutely necessary if you're playing Dragon Ravine. And since Dragon Ravine is necessary in 60 cards... And since 60 cards is necessary, this Drudo, hence, Trip Philosophy, is necessary. Thus, making Mirror Mirror necessary. And Boots and Double Fog Blade, literally free negates. You have to play it. Rusty's going to get banned soon. And you got to take advantage of Fog Blades while you can. It's like two free negates. You'll be absolutely crazy not to play them. They're literally free negates. Like, absolutely free. And drawing them are not bad. They're literally another negate in your hand. Like, that's another reason I don't like the rank up stuff. You draw the rank up stuff, they're just dead in your hand. But if you draw these, you have three free frog plays in your deck. Like, that's totally cool with me. It's like playing Solemn Strikes in your deck back when, when you put Ariadne in it. It was cool to draw a counter trap. You have a counter trap. It's all good. Next siding, we have nine cards against backer decks, nine cards against monster decks, and nine cards against striker, which reboot doesn't work against. We want to make sure we have nine against everything because if you notice, we have nine gadgets and you now have the option. You could take out. Going second, you could take out three fog blades and six gadgets, or three fog blades, three gadgets, a cyber sign, and maybe something else. It gives you the versatility to side out whatever you want, depending on the matchup. Uh, so that's why I like having nine to make sure. If I ever feel like taking all the gadgets, you could simply side in exactly nine and simply just take out the gadgets and play as normal. If you draw a cyber sign, you have free exterio bless. So it's that simple. And obviously, a dex exterio does nothing against you to take out cyber sign, and you still keep some of the gadgets because. They still, if you draw one, you still have access to the rest of the gadgets. So 
even if you don't go into Cyberstein, you normal yellow gadget, get red, get green. Like, you'll get all of them. They all hit the field for free. It's actually crazy. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. Next, extra deck, Electra, Insulator, Rusty. I don't think Pendulums, pendulums do not need to play Link Karibo if you're playing Yazzie. As long as you play Space Insulator, giving you the option for Rusty uh, to go into that if you need it for Rusty or to go into it for the Yazzie. Space Insulator is the best of both worlds. You get both of them. So, Underclock's effect isn't worth it for playing a whole other card in the extra deck just for that Link Rebo. So, if you're playing Yazzie and Rusty, don't play Link Rebo or Underclock. Just play one Space Insulator. Save a spot in your extra deck. One Phoenix, one Knight, one Unicorn. Once our Yuja, you need it for the combo. One Boral Sword, one Boral Load. Boral is too nice against Thunder not to play. One Boral Savage. The Boral Brothers got to stay there together. One Yazi, one Gear Gigan for the combo, one Dweller, because Dweller is literally an auto win. We don't play in the Orcas deck because you need all darks for that, obviously, after you, you do your combo. But you got so many gadgets going around that a lot of the times you do go Dweller, Exterior, Double Fog Blade with a negate. Like, it does happen a lot uh, with the nice hands. Like, this deck's amazing. It always is 4 plus negates no matter what. Like, I literally no matter what. If you draw gadgets, you go Exterior, uh, 4 Monster Negates, or 3 Monster Negates and Vortex. If you don't draw gadget, you simply go Savage Dragon, Vortex, Double Fog, but it, it's actually amazing. And then lastly, Absolute Vortex, and lastly, the boss of the deck, Naturio Auto Win Exterio. Deck's nuts. I can't say enough things about it. Make sure, guys, let me know what you think about this. I am going to be posting a, a three matches that I had with Farfa, uh, really super sped up with my commentary, where I play gadgets, pendulums, and he played Draco Pal. So those are incredible matches. I'll be posting it soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.